This program will demonstrate for the learner the proper technique for conducting a screening, intraoral, and extraoral examination. A thorough screening examination is an essential part of patient evaluation prior to treatment. The complete head and neck examination should include both inspection and palpation of intraoral structures as well as extraoral areas. All infection control measures must be rigidly applied. Before starting the examination, set up a bracket tray and required materials. The only materials required are a mouth mirror, sterile gauze pads, latex examination gloves, protective face mask, protective glasses, and adequate lighting. If the patient has any removable appliances, they should be removed before starting the examination. Explain the purpose and routine order of the examination to the patient. Begin with a complete extraoral examination. Gloves may be worn during this phase of the examination at the operator's discretion. Look at the patient from the front, carefully noting any asymmetry of the face and neck. Observe generally for any skin blemishes, pigmentations, moles, and swelling. Move the patient's head from side to side to detect masses or restricted mobility. Observe color and texture of the skin. Inspect the eyes and eyelids. Palpate occipital nodes bilaterally. Ask the patient, do you have any pain or discomfort? Palpate the pre and post auricular nodes bilaterally. Using both hands, palpate the parotid glands. Palpate bimanually along the base of the mandible and under the chin. Turn the patient's head to the side. Using two fingers, palpate deeply along the sternocleidomastoid muscles for cervical lymph nodes. Palpate the thyroid gland with the index finger and thumb. Ask the patient to swallow while palpating. Palpate the temporomandibular joint bilaterally with the patient's mouth closed and then wide open. Note tenderness, crepitus, and deviation. Ask the patient, does opening your mouth cause you any discomfort? When the extraoral part of the screening examination is completed, accurately document all findings. Before beginning a complete intraoral examination, Wash hands thoroughly and put on protective mask, glasses, and gloves. Gloves must be worn during this phase of the screening examination. Begin the examination by carefully examining the lips with the mouth closed and then open. Note the color, texture, and any surface abnormalities. Dry the lips and labial mucosa with a sterile gauze pad and then re-examine. Using two fingers, 
palpate the lips. Examine visually and by palpation the maxillary and mucobuccal fold or vestibule with the mouth partially open. The vestibule of the mouth is the sulcus, which is situated between the alveolar ridges and the lips and cheek. Observe the color, character, and any swelling of the mucosa interproximally and in the vestibule. Palpate the gingiva. The gingiva, or gum, is the portion of mucosa and submucosa which is attached directly to the bony alveolar surface and surrounds the cervixes of the teeth. Retract the patient's cheeks to observe the buccal mucosa. Dry the area with a sterile gauze pad and recheck. Manipulate the duct opening of the parotid gland, noting the patient's saliva. Location of the opening of the duct in the oral cavity is marked by the small flap of tissue, the parotid papilla, which varies greatly in size and shape. Using both hands, palpate both cheeks. Instruct the patient to touch the palate with the tip of the tongue. Inspect the floor of the mouth. Sponge it dry with a sterile gauze pad and recheck. Using both hands, palpate the entire floor of the mouth. With the patient's tongue protruded, observe for deviation, tremor, asymmetry, or limitation of motion. Note any variations in texture, size, or color. Inspect the dorsum of the tongue with the tongue at rest and the mouth partially open for any swelling, ulceration, coating, or variation in size, color, or texture. Wrap a 4x4 four four sterile gauze pad around the tip of the protruded tongue. Holding the tongue with the gauze, gently move it to the patient's left and retract the right cheek. Observe the entire lateral border of the tongue and its attachments to the floor of the mouth, back to the anterior pillar. Swing the tongue to the right and repeat the examination of the left lateral border. Release the tongue and again instruct the patient to touch the tip to the palate. Observe the ventral surface and note any varicosities and swellings. With the tongue still elevated, sponge the area dry with a sterile gauze pad and inspect the lingual frenum. Note any abnormalities in that area. At this point, a note could be made of the nature of the saliva and the presence of halitosis. Using two fingers, palpate the entire tongue, including the base, for any induration. Examine the lingual surfaces of the floor of the mouth. Inspect and then palpate the hard and soft palates.
With the mouth wide open and the patient's head back, gently depress the base of the tongue with a mouth mirror. With the tongue still depressed, instruct the patient to say, ah. This will expose a wide area, allowing inspection of the uvula, oral pharynx, and tonsillar area. To avoid contaminating the patient's chart, use over gloves when documenting records. Remember, always note all deviations from normal and record them accurately. Always follow a routine order of inspection. In review, the complete head and neck examination should include both inspection and palpation of intraoral as well as extraoral areas. All infection control measures should be rigidly applied. If the patient has any removable appliances, they should be removed before starting the examination. Always explain the purpose and routine order of the examination to the patient. Begin with a complete extraoral examination. Gloves may be worn during this phase of the examination at the operator's discretion. Before beginning a complete intraoral examination, put on a protective mask and glasses. Wash hands thoroughly and put on latex examination gloves. Gloves must be worn during this phase of the screening examination. A thorough screening examination is an essential part of patient evaluation prior to treatment. Thank you.